Hey kids, welcome to the channel. This is Karen from Our Fall Critics. How are you? Uh, today is collaboration day. I'm very excited uh, for this one. Um, I am doing a collab with a gal by the name of Amanda Edwards. I found her on Instagram. She does amazing work and asked her if she liked to collab. There's my cat. <laughs> and she said yes. And so we talked about ideas and decided we both love the color peach. So we're going to use peach and do some peachy keen pours. Um, we were both going to spin out some blooms on some 12 by 24 canvases. And you guys know my heartache um, with the size of my kitchen and trying to spin larger things. So she'll do the spinning and I'll do the deconstructing and we'll see how they turn out. I wanted to show you. Um, an example of her work, this is a Dutch pour I bought from her, uh, from Instagram, or I went to her Etsy shop, and I love the unusual colors, and this hangs in her stairwell, and uh, yeah, she's a great artist, so please check her out immediately following my video, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okie dokie, quick review of the colors before we get started and I put down my white base. Um, so, as I said, the color uh, of the day for this collaboration with Amanda is peach. Now I think, I, I can't swear to it, but I think she made up her own version of peach. And I cheated, I'm like, there's gotta be peach something or other out there. And lo and behold, um, this little piggy, these pigments, uh have a color called golden peach <laughs> like perfect that's what i'm going to use um so there's my peach color it's really super pretty love it and then i am pairing it with one of their newer colors as well this little piggy this is watermelon and i like the i like that it wasn't terribly pinky and it looks really good with the peach and then my accent colors to go with this are Amsterdam uh, two paint. This is their bronze. That's that guy right there. And then I'm using their light gold as well. Two paint by Amsterdam. So there are the colors. Let's move these out of my way. And then for cell activator, I'm using a, a new color. Uh, I always like this color when I did traditional pours. This is Kaput Mortem by Amsterdam. And I added the this, this small, oh, I need to stir it up a little more. The smallest amount of black, of carbon black. I mean, literally, like if it was a piece of paper, I just squeezed it out and took my palette knife and like took off a tiny, tiny bit of, of um, black to add to it. You can see it's only about let me see if I can do this. It's only about two shades darker than it is in the tube. So that's one color cell activator. I like the drama of that. And then as usual, um, just in case I don't like the Kaput Mortem, I also have my usual. This is my Blue Violet by Amsterdam mixed in again with a little bit of carbon black. And it gives you a really dark grape color um, purple black color that's nicer I like it because it's softer looking than black it's not as stark um, but we're gonna go with the kaput mortem first I think pretty sure so put the one on the bench for now and let's move all this stuff out of my way and um, I'm gonna put down some white and then tilt it all around for a second so I'm not gonna bore you with that be right back Hey guys, this is fail number three. So as most of you know, I live in a teeny tiny townhouse. I tried to spin out the first, no, yeah, three fails. The first two I tried to spin out and had my spinner and I just can't, like I just can't destroy my kitchen with paint. And to set up my doggy pole requires a bit of maneuvering in the house that I just, can't do today for a number of reasons. So I'm probably gonna deconstruct this because I can definitely tilt on my island. 
um, and not spin a 12 by 24. I just can't. So I already let Amanda know, like she knows. Um, so I'm gonna go again. I covered up the last one because I hated it. And we're gonna try again. And I was gonna do three blooms. So I start with the bronze. Do some watermelon. Oops, oh my goodness. It's been that kind of a day. Just with some gold. Then the peach that we are in love with. Peach is definitely the color of the month. And then maybe a little bit more bronze. A little more watermelon. A little more gold. And a little more peach. And I'm gonna thin out my cell activator just a tiny bit. So it's like, I don't know, like three and a half to one instead of three to one. So just put a baby squirt in there. My kaput mortem. And let's try this again. Wish me luck. Uh, cool air, always, always. Hi, fan. Oh my gosh, the Kaput Mortem with these colors is so, so pretty. All right, number one, I was pretty happy with that blowout. Let's try number two. I'm gonna do three today. We're gonna put it right on top of this part because I don't like it. Skip the uh, bronze. Oh my gosh, see, this is so pretty. Now, that's one I would want to spin out. Seriously, I'm going to be grumpy. <laughs> I'm going to be grumpy. Uh, I need a studio so bad, y'all, to do big canvases. Because this is, this is, um, I'm feeling frustrated by the limitations of my house today. I love my little house, but it's not conducive to, uh, big pore paintings for sure. All right, let's blow this one out. Let that collect. Mm. Hold on a little bit. Too much cell activator right there. Let's just take it out with my finger. Oh yeah.
We've got a little white in the middle of that. That doesn't bother me though. All right, let's do a third. I want that to touch too, so we're gonna do the same thing. Sounds a lot of bronze. Let's see, watermelon. Could put mortem for the window. That cell activator color. Really happy with that. I'm just going to do a double dose of the watermelon and golden peach. Alright, last one. Well, that's super thin right there. Don't like this hard line right here. Oh, Karen, you just made it worse. Okay, collective. Here we go. I'm gonna come off, I got pink here and here. We're gonna take those off first. Hey honey, hold on, I'm filming. Huh? I'm filming, hold on a second. I'm gonna go home. Okay. Oh, I don't like that look at all. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on, I'm gonna go for it for a second. Almost there. Let's go this way. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm going toward this corner here. I knew that one part was going to be trouble. I knew it was going to be trouble. Loving the bottom half of this. Problematic top half. <clears throat> Let me wipe off my fingers.
This is gorgeous. I don't like the bend. We'll fix that in a second. I wonder if I can blow this out or put a balloon there and blow it out. Nothing venture, nothing gained. Gotta be brave. <clears throat> Just gonna make sure I blow over that white. Making a big so I can tilt it. And hopefully use some of the paint to boss that part around. That's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, sorry for the hair dryer. One last time. I already like this better already. Um, I need to tilt off this and this. Take some paint off. Do something about my wonky line there. Probably by tilting up a little bit. Um, adore the colors. And oh my gosh, I really dug into this right here. I wonder if it's ready yet. Let's give a baby tilt and see. I really like to just go back and forth. Hopefully. Kind of loosen it up. Or I might have to stop and wait five minutes because I really went deep with the hair dryer right there. No? You going to go for me? Are you gonna go off? Are you gonna go off all the way? Some of you? We'll wiggle you off. We'll go back and forth. Because the bottom part's not gonna move. It's pretty much done. Bear with me and take off the white, take off the white, take off the white. Off you go, white. Yep. Oh yeah, too too much uh, stretch marks on the sides now. All right, before I go back, let me come back where I was and kind of go up to this one corner. Stretch out all those cells. They're a little bit too uniform compared to the rest of the painting, so I've really got to deconstruct them a bit or it's going to look weird. And then take them over. Mm, I don't like that dark spot. Hold on. <laughs> no, just take the hair dryer to it. Boy, this one's a labor of love. Oh, good grief. It's getting there though. I see the vision. I see it. Like, what is she doing? That should look okay when I go the other way. Everything else is looking good. 
As can you guys see? Almost where I want to be. Almost there. Almost there. Taking those other cells all the way across. That's good. That's good. That's good. I might lose a couple. Can't be helped. Let me see now. Bring it back. Bring it back. Save the cells. Oh yeah, the hair dryer did the trick in the one spot. So. This one I'm going to take back the other way because the cells are shredding at the top and I love it. I love that look. And I'm going to stretch them out. I'll show you what I'm talking about is this stuff up here where it's all totally wonky and totally cool. And the only thing I think I don't like is this line here. Let me stare at this a second. <clears throat> Can I live with that? Oops. Oh my gosh, really thin paint too. Really super thin paint. Let's put some back. Hmm. Don't like that hard line. So picky. I'm going to stop and walk away from this for for five minutes. Um, there are some things I really, really like about this, and I'm debating whether to add some. Let me wipe off my palette knife, and I'll use that as my pointer. Is I have these really super thin white lines running through a couple little areas that I really like, and I'm tempted to add some like right in here i got like one going here maybe expand on it maybe one up in here i'm loving the top of this i love the middle i love the bottom i think it looks cool it's all get out <laughs> it's totally it's gonna be totally totally different from what amanda has <laughs> but that's okay we both use peach i got lots and lots of peach and, um, yeah, I need to walk away. I feel like I'm too close and staring at it and, like, distracted. So let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, here's a close-up of the wet results. Hopefully you can see the shimmer just everywhere. Um, really? Wow, that looks a lot darker. You can really see the bronze in here. Super, super pretty. The top part, here's what I'm talking about with the shredding of the cells, and this is what made me fall in love with it, is this stuff here, where it's just like all totally wonky. It reminds me of like the walls of the Grand Canyon. It does wrong colors but that same look the whole thing is um kind of ethereal to me it's soft but rugged and i think i'm going to do those colors again but add another color that has a little more contrast i mean i think it's very pretty and i'm pretty happy with the composition guys so that let me know what you think and uh, 
Yes, yeah, stay tuned for the dry results. Okay, guys, I'm back with the dry results of this one. I'm I'm totally taken with this color combo. You're gonna see it again for sure. Um, just so, so pretty, very abstract, very uh, decorative, I would say. Looks really good from a distance. I'm trying to like get the capture of the glow like up in here because it does just glow. And then it dried perfectly. Um, my favorite parts. I blew this one out fairly strong. So really shredded the cells up there at the top. I like that though, but I also really like the middle part with these cells here and here and just how blurry this is. Oh look, a match. <laughs> uh, it looks, I'm just really, really happy with it. It's just the colors are amazing. Let me come back again. So this one will be available for sale. Um, haven't decided whether to varnish or resin yet. Um, maybe resin, just because I want those pigments to really, really pop. Let me know what you think. Um, let me flip around and say goodbye because I want to say something. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out Amanda next. Now you can see the glow look. That's so funny from a distance, how it just glows. Um, I wanted to take a minute and where's the dot? Thank you all so, so much for all the um, prayers and lovely thoughts regarding um, my father-in-law and his stroke. He's doing better. It was quite mild, you know, knock on wood. Um, he's off to a PT facility um, and should pretty much make a full recovery. So... Thank you guys so, so much. Uh, myself and my family were very touched by um, the outpouring of love. And you guys are just the best. What can I say? Uh, anyway, let's hop on over and check out Amanda. And um, until next time, peace out. <laughs>